I'm attempting to get the highest FPS possible and be all of the other YouTubers FPS records. But there is a problem. If I do want to be every other YouTubers FPS records, I need a beast of a gaming PC. All oh, right. And that's not happening. So instead, I'm going to use every possible operating system optimization, every Minecraft performance mod ever and squeeze every little bit of power from my very own computer. But what are the specs of my current PC? Well, currently I own a GTX 1060, a Ryzen 5 2600X, and my computer's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, it's incredibly outdated. Now, how many FPS can I actually get in Minecraft with no mods and no optimizations. Well, it looks like I'm running at an incredible 30 FPS. What the hell, man? Wait a minute. Okay, that's a lot better. Now, trust me, 30 FPS is a very rough starting point, but in the future, with all the optimizations, I should get some pretty high frames, and maybe even you will too. Foreshadowing. So in normal vanilla Minecraft, you can't exactly do much to go ahead and increase your FPS. But with the introduction of mods, we can get some really nice frames. But what mods am I actually gonna use? Well, you're most likely thinking of a mod named Optifine. But what if I told you, Optifine is completely fake? Well, on Bedrock Edition anyways. So for MCBE, there is a custom client which is actually named Onyx Client. This can be paired with a bunch of different FPS boosting packs, such as Particle Disabler, Render Distance Limiter, wait, Hold on a second. I see what they're doing. They're both removing features. So with the new client and them two texture packs in place, our FPS actually increases to around 120 FPS. Which to be honest, I think it's complete waffle. Yeah, it was, look. We're literally getting 130 frames. But that actually means we're already getting a 373% increase of all frames. But this is only the start. Now, I've been watching loads of YouTube videos to go ahead and find the best packs to actually increase our FPS. Now, as I was about to download them, I've realized nearly all of the videos I watched are incredibly outdated. So I'm going to have to find all of the newer versions and actually go ahead and download them. Wish me luck. Okay, did you really think I was gonna make a whole montage of me actually downloading the texture packs. Well, no, no, I wasn't. But anyways, I got access to a RAW file that contains loads of texture packs for the Minecraft version 1.20 and they're all targeted to actually optimize the game. Now, just by using these packs, I've gone ahead and got the FPS all the way up to 350 frames, which means our FPS has now increased a thousand percent more than what we began with. But there's still something else that can actually increase our FPS way more without even downloading anything. And that's by changing one of our Minecraft files. To do this, we'll go into our app data, then into packages, now into the Minecraft one, then to local state, games, com.mojang, and finally Minecraft PE. Once you're in this file, go to the options file, look for GFX VSync, and change the one to a zero. Now this makes our FPS increase to 400, and 50 frames per second. Now 1.20 does actually appear to be an incredibly unoptimized version of Minecraft. Now this is because the older Minecraft gets, the more updates it has, meaning there are more things in the game which makes it harder to run. You can typically see this when swapping from versions 1.12 two versions 1.20. So it really only makes sense to go back to the older versions of the game. Now, after doing some research and personal testing, I found out that the version 1.12.1 and 1.18 are the most optimal for increasing your FPS, which I think is quite funny as even the oldest version of Minecraft Bedrock gets less FPS and it's missing all of these features. So 1.12.1 gets 777 FPS with no mods. And with the addition of mods, we can just scrape 900 FPS. Now that's pretty good, but it's time to move on to the next version of the game, 1.18. For months, I've been perfecting my texture pack and mod library, finding the best optimization packs. And on this day, I'm finally putting my mod and pack library to the test. So we've got Sodium, Simply Cubed PVP Overlay, Performizer, Render Distance Limiter, Particle Disabler, and even Onyx Client. Now utilizing these texture packs and this client, 
we get 540 FPS. So that actually proves that version 1.12.1 is definitely better than 1.18. But there aren't really many servers that actually use it anymore. So if you actually want to play on servers, 1.18 is definitely the best. But now, this is the fun part. The operating system optimizations. So there are hundreds of optimizations, but the main ones do actually include disabling any startup app, turning off your Windows desktop, because somehow this helps but that's not all. If we also go ahead and disable all of the apps that run in the background, such as Chrome, OBS, antivirus, and even my keyboard and mouse software, we are left with a decently optimized Windows. But there is still one more trick that can be used to get an even higher FPS, and that's by downloading an overclocking software such as MSI Afterburner. By overclocking my graphics card, it's going to make my game run slightly faster and provide us with a little bit more FPS. So now, by using 1.12.1, with all of the FPS texture packs, jumping into the void, enabling an X-ray texture pack, disabling all in-game cycles, and lowering the resolution to the lowest possible setting, we get nearly 1,000 FPS, which I believe is incredibly close to the world record. But what if I told you, this is only the start. We can do even better. I'm gonna program a fake FPS counter. <laughs> so if you go into my description, you'll find a Python file, which is called fake FPS. Essentially, you just swap these two numbers and then it creates you a custom FPS counter. Now with a few edits, boom, look at that. 40,000 FPS. 